President Trump speaks at a rally in Ohio. And we're not going to stand for it. We're going to turn this around and we're going to turn it around fast. Somebody said, we really like this person or that person because they can serve for eight years. They should serve. I said, if it takes you more than a year to fix the problem, you have the wrong people. That was actually something. That was a political attack line, J.D. They said he could be here for eight years. I said, if it takes you more than a year, you got the wrong guy. I said, if it takes you eight years to set this thing up, you don't want to vote for him. So that's the story. It's my first term and we built the greatest economy. Think of it. In my first term, we built the greatest economy in the history of the world. We had the highest tax cut ever. Ronald Reagan didn't do anything even by comparison. We had the biggest regulation cuts and rising wages for citizens of every race, religion, color, and creed. And we had a thing called no inflation. How do you like the idea of no inflation? <laughs> Under Biden, the cost of rent is up 30 percent. Groceries are up 30 percent. Everything is up. Chicken's up. Bread is up. And I can't read this damn teleprompter. <laughs> This sucker is moving around. <laughs> it's like reading uh, a moving flag at a 35 mile an hour wind. And then they say Trump's a bad guy because I'll say this. Don't pay the teleprompter company. Don't pay. Don't pay. And then he'll say, Trump didn't pay me. And they'll say, oh, Trump's a horrible human being. He's terrible. They gave me a pile of crap that th this is the craziest thing. And look, look at all the television I have up there. I got all the television. And they won't say that. They'll say, Trump made a speech. It wasn't so good. It wasn't so good. You know, it's funny. I was asking Jim Jordan about it because he was commenting that we have the largest crowds in the history of politics. Nobody comes close. If Ronald Reagan came to a place called Dayton, Ohio. Have you heard of it? If he came to Dayton, Ohio, honestly, J.D., if he had three or 400 people in a ballroom, that would be great. We get 25, 30,000 people for every, a small rally is 20,000 people. We had 88,000 people show up in South, South Carolina. There was no, there was no venue. We had no, so we used the whole town. Another Trump speech, always hysterical. Not only is he touting his accomplishments, he's also re referencing JD, that's JD Vance. Great man, elected official from the state of Ohio, but I love when he's talking about the teleprompter. And you always have to go back to what would happen if Joe Biden's teleprompter went out? What would happen? And now he's gotta wear special orthotic shoes because he falls down everywhere. He has to read off a teleprompter. He has note cards and simple meetings. It's like, when is enough going to be enough? And President Trump, as he was touting his accomplishments in his first four years in office, you just have to think where we are now as a country. He said no inflation under Trump. Now inflation is through the roof. Our wages, sometimes the Democrats like to say wages are going up, but everything else is going up too. So we're not making more money. Crime is through the roof in this country. Oh, and by the way, this is something really important to know. When you hear the liberals say that crime is down in most major cities, don't believe it. They've stopped reporting. So it's the FBI that does the crime reporting statistics. Uh, Phoenix, New York City, LA, other major cities just didn't report to the FBI this year. So they have nothing to go off of. Moreover, in these big liberal cities, they're just not prosecuting crime. So if you go to any of these places, you realize that they're far more dangerous, but the liberal talking point in the narrative is that crime has gone down. It's all a manipulation. And that's just another reason why these Trump speeches are so great because he sits there and he tells the truth. He's off the cuff. He's hysterical. He said he's gonna get it done in one year, right? If you need someone for eight years, they should be able to get it done in a year. Let's pray he gets in there and gets everything done. I hope metaphorically, of course, he lights the place on fire because we already know about all of the hoaxes going on these days, the bloodbath hoax, but one year, Let's do it, President Trump. All we need is one year. I want cheap gas, no wars, reduced inflation, reduced crime, a closed border. 
Sounds pretty simple to me. Let's go DJT.